today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. Well, I gave Dagny the choice today whether she wanted to go to Goodwill or she wanted to go to the most magical antique mall shop in all the land, and she chose the antique shop that we were at last week and I spent $800 and got some really amazing stuff. So I drove an hour and a half, which really actually was an hour and 45 minutes because I had to stop for coffee. And we are here now and we're going to go in and look at the treasures and see what we missed because I know that we missed a lot. We did. And there was stuff I left behind even. So we're going to head in. I. I'm not gonna put this into three parts, but maybe two parts. We'll see. We'll maybe see what we're parts. maybe four <laughs> parts today. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that to you. But let's head in and see what we can find. That we can flip for a profit. Here we go. Today we started immediately inside the door, and I spotted this carved little shorebird made from driftwood, and it was signed on the bottom. So I decided that I was going to make this my very first item of the day. These were interesting. So I decided to pull them out. They are made of wood cutouts and then they are painted. And there were actually two of them. One was a market scene and the other was a general store and post office. And they were really nicely made. I thought they were interesting the way they were all pieced together and then painted. And I was surprised that there were no signatures on them, but I decided to pick those up. This ice bucket. This ice bucket looked like it could possibly be made in Finland. Not positive about that, but for only $4, I was willing to take a shot on it and figure it out later. And even if it's not made in Finland, I feel like $4 is a good investment on that piece because it was really neat. And then I found the doll. And you guys know I don't typically pick up dolls. It's just a preference of mine. I tend to avoid them. Um, I know doll buyers are very particular and they scare me a little bit. Um, but this doll was just so nicely made. I just loved her features, and to be honest, I think she kind of reminded me a little bit of Juliet whenever Juliet was a baby, so I did buy the doll, and I think the doll was $12. I was joking with Dagny that everyone thinks this is going to be a setup, but in the very back behind Maggie's tush was this, this awesome, Mexican folk art piece. I believe it's a Mexican folk art piece. It's possible it's just South American, but I loved the colors of it. It's so cheerful. That's part of the reason I think I'm drawn to these South American pieces is just because they're so cheerful and so happy. Dagny found a pig. <laughs> a very cute little pig. I believe it was made in Ireland. You can see I'm back to the art glass. I've been drawn to it speaking to me. I liked that paperweight, but it did have a cloudy bottom, and so that scared me off just a little bit. But these paperweights were really nice, and so was that, and also the Jack in the Pulpit face. But the paperweights had a Millefiore design, and when you turn them over, you can see that the bottom is polished clear. They're very nice. They're $9 a piece. Uh, now Dagny and I both agreed that I would buy one and she would buy one. So I decided to buy the blue one and she bought the yellow one. Now in the back, there was a really nice perfume bottle. It was etched and it had this optic texture to it. Unfortunately, it was missing its atomizer, but my understanding is that those are pretty easy to replace. So it wasn't the end of the world, but it was just an absolutely beautiful piece of glass. Now, while I was scanning over the shelves here, I noticed that the turnips were still here. And I was so thrilled because I thought for sure someone would come in and scoop these up and they would be gone forever. And I was really kicking myself the last time because I left the turnips behind. Um, I'm still really not sure what they are, what their purpose is. I wasn't sure if they were candlesticks or not, but I thought they were really cool. Now I've spotted this really neat vase back here. It's very mid-century modern. Now I did move on to check out some of the jewelry and in this jewelry case you can see there is a very neat Millefiore ring 
and I had to, the case was not locked so I could lift it right up and, and pull that little guy out of there to take a, a better look at it. And I really liked it. It matched a necklace that I purchased recently at Bedford Street Antiques. And even though it's just a costume jewelry piece, it's not a fine metal, but I really liked it and I thought it would go well with the necklace. There's a little cloisonne crane back here, or maybe it's not a crane. It's a bird. Maybe it's an emu. <laughs> it was $14. I love cloisonne pieces. I'm not sure why, especially when they're figurines. So I did decide to grab that and stick that in my pile as well. And there's the owl with the googly eyes. You know I am a fan of the googly eyes, and especially when they're attached to an owl. And so Dagny gave it a good little shake to make sure the googly eyes were functional, and they are. They were functional. Um, and I did buy the owl for $16 because I don't have one with googly eyes, and now I do. Well, I am going to split this video into two parts and so I'm going to end it right here and we will pick up tomorrow where we left off. I hope you guys enjoyed this first half of the video, uh, but before I do end this, I wanted to remind all of you that I am running a shirt campaign, The Missing Lid Conspiracy. Um, it is my theory on where all the lids go. So I will include a link for that down in the description. I'm running it through bonfire.com. The campaign ends on April 26th, 2020. And after that, the shirts are no more. <laughs> but they will all ship out a week later. That's when all the shirts ship. They ship in bulk. Um, so if you guys are interested in a shirt, I will include a link down below in the description. And on that note, I will see all of you tomorrow for part two of this video. And I hope you're looking forward to it. All right, bye. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.